Hey guys, just finished watching uh, Flash Season 4, Episode 6, When Harry Met Harry. Um, this episode was uh, interesting, dealing with, you know, a bit of DeVoe and stuff, and dealing with this new um, meta and stuff like that. It was kind of an okay meta and all type of thing. Uh, the one thing I never understood is why within this episode, I, mean, I understand for budgetary reasons and all that stuff, but, uh, um, you know, how come she wasn't, when she was at the end of the episode, when she was in that, that, um, uh, when she was in the museum, why couldn't she make multiple things come to come to life at once? I mean, she said she could, but she never did. You know, uh, I understand there's you know there's the certain ones in the walls and stuff. She could probably take the the life, and she said, and she could do it, um, but it would take the whole building down. But she wouldn't because of destroying everything. Um, but still, there could be times where there's two statues. You could take them both, uh, just have two statues running around chasing them. It would have been cool, but. Oh well, so uh, it was quite interesting dealing with the whole thing that's going on with this and, you know, thinking about how with next week's episode it looks like it's a big DeVoe episode. Um, and we know that Long Game Man is not going to be in the crossover. I don't think he was in even in the poster or anything like that. And they did, you know, there was an interview I just saw online where he says, no, he's not in, in the crossover or anything like that. So that's going to be interesting to see what happens with that in next week's episode, what makes him not involved in the crossover. Uh, I mean, I know he's really new to his powers and all that stuff, so he might not be the, the one to have. And when you have Supergirl and all that stuff, you really don't need um, him that much. Not someone who's, you know, not sure about his powers and all that stuff. Um, but I guess I could see them maybe just calling Wally West, say, hey, Wally, can you come back for a few days, you know, come watch Central City as the fl as the Kid Flash um, while I go over to the Earth-X type thing or to and see how that goes. Um, although if Earth-X are coming here, then he should definitely be involved. Maybe not Kid Flash, but, uh, you know, uh, elongated man. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, you know, does he leave Central City because if, er if Earth-X are coming here, um, if Barry goes there, then it's a different situation. But if they're coming here, which that poster i guess it does seem like it is you know barry's coming here um it's gonna be fun to see what things uh, how things start off with that in, uh, not next week but the week after um and where things go with, with all that for the crossover but that's a whole nother story for the crossover when that comes out but uh, this episode was quite fun you know dealing with uh with the long man still using his powers a lot and he was getting shot by the same mugger from that long, from episode one and stuff um that was pretty cool and then you know the twist that uh you know he's in the wheelchair and all that stuff and and how, you know, um, DeVoe was all ready for him and all that stuff. That's going to be cool to see how something like that takes on and how things continue on from there. Um, that'll be cool to see, to play with that and stuff. So it was, all in all, it was an interesting episode. Um, nothing in this episode was like, oh, remember that? There was no part that's going to be really a memorable episode. It was, definitely wasn't a memorable episode or anything like that. Um, but it was uh, it was definitely interesting and fun, this episode. Um, we're going to have to wait and see where things can go with this. I mean, it was different having the, the different wells around that was kind of okay but none of those wells were kind of like oh i need to see that wells again i need to see this wells again they were kind of just like huh yeah you know was, they were not interesting wells any of the wells that they brought in even though this episode was titled you know when harry met harry i understand you know it's, it's that reference to when harry met sally and all that stuff but they were such a little part of the episode i don't think i don't see why they were na named the whole part of the episode now i understand they are the whole reason how they found out uh, william devoe or what is his full name they have it here on IMDb, they don't, but, uh, you know, uh, Devo or something like that, when they figure out his full name, I forget his name already, um, but, uh, you know, I don't really, didn't really like, mind that part, I didn't, didn't care, not care for that part, I didn't hate it, but I just, just, no, they could have cut that whole part out and have their, oh, we figured it out, you know, um, you know, with help of Felicity or something like that, we, we figured it out, you know, I think that would have been really an interesting, uh, better idea than, you know, throwing the idea over to, to, to Felicity or this or that and um and then I think it would actually would have been interesting with all this them you know they've been going for a few episodes six episodes trying to figure out who DeVoe is who is which is DeVoe which DeVoe is this or that and you know they should have uh, it would have been nice to see them oh let's let's ask uh, Felicity and the, the Arrow you know maybe they've uh, heard of DeVoe type thing and um that would have been a cool thing you know maybe during uh maybe during uh was it last week's episode when 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 uh, she was around maybe they could have asked do you know any devos and stuff like that don't remember her, them really asking that and then him going and her going no i don't know any devo but i'll ask if oliver knows any devos from the island or anything like that it's you know she he's not really he doesn't really keep and tell everyone everything i mean so far he sounds like he has but not so much there's always could be someone so it would have been interesting to see something like that and then him just going hmm, no i don't know any devos or maybe just a text over to oliver do you know any devos type thing and he's just like mm, no not really but i'll keep my eyes out if i hear one if you hear anyone type thing so that would have been a really cool uh, idea just to kind of 
touching bases. And even if he did know Debo, oh yeah, I knew this Debo that back then. This is this. I met this guy in Lian Yu. I met this guy, uh, this Debo in uh, you know in China back in the day when um, with uh, what's her face, the katana and stuff like that. Uh, is it katana her name? I think it was katana. Um, and all that stuff. So that would have been really cool. There for just just a quick text. Don't have to have any actors go over. I mean. She was already over. She could have just brought the information over to, 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 to Arrow. So that would have been interesting, but disappointing. But uh, so all in all, this episode was okay. It wasn't uh, my favorite episode. It wasn't you know a boring episode. It just it just doesn't leave any big impact. Um, but it is interesting to, that the things are they're moving on now. They got William. They got the guy's full name. They got Devos' full name and stuff, and they're able to move on with things. And so that's going to be fun to see what things go with that um, and see how things uh, continue on. And I mean, a more Devoe heavy episode next week. So that's going to be fun to see that. And then, you know, when when uh, I guess if if when Earth X comes over, uh, is that going to be is Devoe have any uh, connection in there? You know, is he going to know what's going on? And when Barry goes over to Earth X or something like that, if they all go over to Earth X, they will in in the crossover. Um, Will he be able to continue and see Barry when he goes over like that? Is he how is he able to see everyone? Is he able to follow what's going on? Is that going to mess up his plan? The uh, the crossover? How is that going to do? No. Um, and does he does Devo know that Oliver Queen is the Green Arrow? Does he know about Supergirl? Does he know about this or that? And if he's been following the Flash and has he seen all the other crossovers and things like that? Does he know you know who the Black Canary is? Does he know that there's a new Black Canary? You know that there's Dinah Drake uh, Black Canary and then there's Laurel Lance Black Canary and then there's the Doppelganger Laurel. Lance as Black Siren does he know you know what how much does he know that's going to be fun to figure out in next week's episode maybe or if he's in the crossover um even just a thing where he's like even just a screen all it is it takes it with one screen where he sees everyone and he knows who is who already type thing and I think that would be a really cool I right, way to bring everyone in um and, and you know involved at all I think that could be really cool uh, thing. Now, maybe it, it wouldn't really have to bring everyone in, but it's just to say he knows who everyone is, and you know he can protect almost every anything, any uh, outcome. So I think that's going to be fun to see that, um, and also I think it's going to be really cool to see him try and uh, you know outsmart these characters and stuff, and maybe uh, you know. I guess we have the crossover, but maybe eventually he'll be able to use, you know, characters like the Atom over on the Legend of Tomorrow and stuff to playing with that to try and use his intellect, trying to put this against um, Dravo and stuff. So that'll be cool. So it's going to be interesting to see where things go from here. Um, but like I said, all in all, in this episode was just like a meh. But it was still interesting to see, like how things are. Ra- it definitely ramped things up with its ending and stuff. So that was quite fun. So let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below. What was your favorite part? What were the parts you hate? And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. I'm Captain America here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.